it on? Hello. Is it on? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Oh, the children can go to the back along with the workers. Thank you. Glory to God. God is good. Always he's good. Amen. Amen. Well, tonight, we're going to pray. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Amen. I have a few things to say, and then we're going to pray. And then a little toward the end, then we're going to pick up and pray in another direction. But um, right now, let's just drop all the effects of the day. Just raise your hands. Turn your face to heaven. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We drop the day. We give all of our attention to you. We thank you so much for the presence of your Holy Spirit. Father, have your way. Have your way with our hearts. We yield to you this evening. We yield and yield and yield, Lord, that you will have your way in our prayers, that you will be able to do exactly what you want to do this evening. We give you all the praise and all the glory. All the disappointment goes. Discouragement goes. Worry goes in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Stress and anxiety, you go in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. We receive the peace of the Lord. We receive your peace, Father. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. I want to start off by going to just a couple verses in Psalm 139 before we begin to pray. And I'm going to start in verse, well, I'll start in verse 13. We're going to go 13 to 17. And I read out of the Amplified Classic Edition. So if yours isn't exactly like mine, it's because I like the Amplified Classic. I just like it. And this says, For you did form my inward parts. You did knit me together in my mother's womb. I will confess and praise I will confess and praise you, for you are fearful and wonderful, and for the awful and wonder of my birth. Wonderful are your works, and that my inner self knows right well. My frame was hidden from you when my frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret, and intricately and curiously wrought, as if embroidered with various colors in the depths of the earth a region of darkness and mystery. Your eyes saw my unformed substance, and in your book all the days of my life were written before ever they took shape, when as yet there was none of them. How precious and weighty also are your thoughts to me. How vast is the sum of them. If I could count them, they would be more in number than the sand. And when I awoke, could I count to the end? I would still be with you. I love these verses. I love them because it talks about how God planned our life before we ever were thought of. Yeah. In eternity, he planned each and every one of us. And it says, it's as if he embroidered us on the inside with all these different colors. When I think of this, I think of the different colors that he put in us are individual gifts, individual traits, characteristics, individual talents that we would need to walk out his purpose for our life. Because each one of us is important to his plan. Each one of us has a specific thing to do that he has called us to do. No one else will have the same effect as you will. No one. 
He put those colors in you uniquely to you so that when you do whatever it is he wants you to do, you have the desired effect and no one else can duplicate that effect. Now they might be able to do a work like that, but they will not have the same effect as you. You have the desired effect that God called for. He put it in you before you ever were. Back in eternity, he designed you. He numbered the days of your life. He, he had the calling for you. He knew who you were, what you would be capable of, all the mistakes you would make, all of the, all of the mess ups and everything. He knew, but you are unique and important to him. He has things for us to do. He's equipped us for this. He's equipped each individual for this day, this hour, this time. You are equipped. You already have his stamp. You are equipped. But now what is up to us is to go into prayer and get ready. You might have the equipment, but we need to pray it out. We need to get ready in prayer. Every one of us needs to be made ready in prayer. The only way you get ready is in prayer. That's the only way is in prayer. He's calling his body to prayer right now. It's important. We have but a short time left. Just a short time left. We all want to be ready individually and we want to be ready as a body. We want to be ready to walk out his plan for these last days. This is what's on my heart for tonight. That we go into prayer and we come before God. We lay down all of our thoughts and concerns. We lay down every source that we might have to put confidence in, and we put all our confidence in Him. We come before Him. We humble ourselves. It says in James 4, if you come before Him and you humble yourself before God, He will lift you up. He will exalt your life and make it significant. That's being prepared for this day. We want to come before him tonight. We want to humble ourselves. We want to give ourselves over to him and let him do a work in us, whatever it is that needs to be done. He knows our hearts better than we know our hearts. He wants to go in and out of every little chamber in your heart, in and out of every corner, every crevice. He wants to make us ready. So what I'm going to ask tonight and I said, as I said, we're going to stop a certain, you know, we're going to pray, and then we're going to stop, and we're going to pick up something else in prayer. But right now, what I want us to do is just come before the Lord. Just come before Him. Just find yourself a place. I don't care. Lay across the pew, come up to the altar, lay on the floor, find a corner. If you need to find a corner, find a corner. Just get with God. Turn off your head. Don't worry about who's around you. It doesn't matter who's around you. And just come before the Lord and get with him. And let's go to prayer. Let's let him do a work in us tonight. Let's let him make us more ready tonight. Let's let him strengthen us. The important thing, the important thing is to receive his strength. The important thing is to be able to pray, to have power and strength in our prayer, to have stamina in our prayer, that we don't just go 15 minutes and it seems like two hours, but we are a people who can go two hours and it seems like 15 minutes. Amen. Let's do that. Let's come before the Lord right now. Let's find a place, find a place, and we're going to pray. Wherever that may be, Find yourself a place that you can come before God and let's pray. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the peace that you give us, Lord. 
We thank you, holy God, that you give us this opportunity to pray, Father God, that we have your grace, Lord, that you say we can enter before the throne of grace, that, Lord, we can come right before you, and we can pour out our heart to you, and we will find, we will find your grace and your mercy to help us. Oh, you will give us grace. You will give us mercy to help us, Lord. You will give us your strength, Father God. You will pour out your strength upon us, Lord. We thank you for that fresh oil. We thank you for the fresh oil, Lord. Oh, we come before you, Father God. Oh, Magombere Dianda. And we yield, and we yield, and we yield, and we learn to pray with our heart and not with our head. We turn our minds off. And we come before you with our heart, dear Lord. Oh, Makosharon de le presetti ke baranda. E barando le prosso coro toto coloronde. Lord, have your will in us. Have your way in us. Father God, begin to prepare us and make us ready for your calling, for whatever it is that you are asking us to do, Lord. Make us ready. Make us a people, Father God, who is ready, who is oh, who will hear every word that you speak to us, whose spiritual ears will be tuned, Father God, to the beat of your heart, Lord, and we will pick up everything it is that you are speaking to us. We will hear you accurately. Oh, mako barondele presendele he grandendereke. Oh, maroso ronde le hebra catala rondondo. Ama sharandele den grandende gay. Oh, maso rondo le de rende. E crasa tala de prede de de. Humbalaha grosso tala ronde le hebre. Masherendele he grossitele rendele den grande de. He barandola rondele he brapa papa carandan de gereti. Thank you, Lord, for boldness. Ho marondele den grande de ge. Thank you, Father God, for a heart, for a heart that cares like Jesus. Ho macho corondon don de geberita. Ame geberondolo ho grondon de geberi. Ibra sondele he grata tare ke padandala rondo lo ho grotto to. Ho madam bare brete de ki baronda la ha vrombe bebere te. He baromba la ha vromba bambe ge barandala ronde le he brete te. Ibra sondele rendele de crete te ke. Ibra ondolo rondo lo rondo le de prete. Akashon de le he grese se. Ti bara tale den grandete che redetti a O bara sondo le rote le habrisa tale den grandete che I bara sondo le rondo le rocro tutto lo ho baba den dele da ti a ta O ma sondo le ronde le rende de hebra papa pirenda I pro sondo le renda la habra gondo le rocro ndo le rotto to Abbasciate le hibra partita. Oh, perché se rende la rangra in dente che è. I brata la ho grotto le ronde le habrete te. I brassondo le ronde le rocrotto le rende la habrotto to. Passi ando le rongrondo onde che le rende le recrete. I brando le rocrotto le ronde le rocrotto te che è. Ha, ha, ha. I ba, ha, 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 ha. Oh, bara i sandele rendele rengrendende gay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hariranda. I bara andala rongrondondo gobe rendale rengrendende gay. I bara so, 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 si apa. So, si apa para rendele rengrendende gay rende. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you for Jesus. Oh, be seated, isa tararati andanda erike rediti. Oh, basoto lo rondo le rende le rende le rende le rende le rende. Oh, be sende le rende le rende le rende le rende. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
ma camerin dalle ringrendetiche. Yes, fischit la ha grosse sette lehi grande andante giberin dalle rogrondo. I berandale den grendendi geren den tegalen dole den grondo und gonde. I battala ho grondele den grendendi geren dalle ro. I jottale ron gondo le ron grondo und geren dalle habregende. Vri papaya soto o soto le rondo le heba babianda. O se carondo le ron grondo te kende. I pako brianda la ha crosette le kretete ke. I rondon de govrin dal ha fro ko sho tolo rondele hebra papa serende ho marenda hebra so tolo rondo i bra sandele rin dal ha gro so tolo rondele rin grende ho ba sandele rondo le ron grende de gerinda i ba randale rin grende de gibranda i ba so tolo rin grandiri ata Crosso un dolore, crosso te le ringrande di che. Chi va so un dolore, crosso un dolore, crosso te le ringrande di che. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Chi va per inda, ha va so tutto un dolore, un grande di che. Mi crosso un dolore, un dolore, ho va va per ti le ringrande di che. Thank you, Lord. Sandele rendele ringrendendi gay. E per caso rondole ron grondondi gay vedita. E grazie a satti lì, e grandandandi gay vedete. Alla rosso corondole ron grondele ringrendi. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, ma satele ringandandi gay veranda. Hey, papa, pere te te re re ri o ro. Hey, papa, pere te te re re ri 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 an do ro to. Oh, ba son de le re kre a ha 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 ha. I ka pa ron don don de ge re te te ke. I so to le re kre te ri an da. Oh, ba go so ron do lo ron gren den de ge ba da an da le den gren den de ge. I basho shon de le ring ring de, ho barata le ring ring de de ge. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, thank you, Lord. Our minds will not wander. We will stay focused right with you, Lord. Ho basinda. We will be listening. Ho shoron de le hibrasa. Abisa tolaron do lo ho grosso toro kembarete. Oh, in your presence, dear Lord. Maha bosedete le hiranda. Ibraso tolaron do lo ho rondon do de ke. Mi karan de le hibrasa talerengen de ki. Abadan dalero krosso ndoloron doloren grenden de ki perata. Thank you, Lord. Ho ho, ba go berin dala habri sin dala ha grosso sotile. Shingaran doloron grondon do go berin de. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. He baroso serin dali ringresita la ho bo gozoron doloron den debita. Avi gabirin dala ho grosso doloron grondon de geleren de lehebran den de. Thank you, 
Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Peri kimberata le he grandan don de keperete. Ibra son de le rengrende de keperan dal ho grosondo. Ibra ho corondo do coperinde de kendale rengrende de gay. Ha 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 ha. Oh, ma chi parondon don di gibrinda? Mi carondo lo ho grondon don di gibrinda le ringrende. Thank you, Lord. We were crucified with Christ, and now He lives in us. And it's by faith that we live in this body is by faith in him. And he is doing such a work right now. He is doing such a work on hearts. He's calling you into a place of prayer. He's calling you into a place with hunger, hunger for his presence, hunger for his presence, that he will sharpen your spiritual ear, that you will hear him with accuracy that you will be filled with his joy and his strength, that you will step out when he calls you to step out. For there are people that will step out that have never done that before, but he is calling. He is calling. He is saying, come, come, come to this place. Dwell in me in this place with prayer. Oh, come and just fellowship with me. Know me intimately. Know me. Know me. Know when I touch you. Know when I move upon you. Know when I'm speaking to you. I will strengthen you. I will tell you things that are to come. You will know my plan for your life. Let me reveal things to you. Let me reveal it. Learn to pick up impressions in your heart that I give you. Learn to hear the still small voice that I speak to you in. Learn to know when I have transmitted something and suddenly you know that you know that you know, know that you received that when you came to me. Know that you were able to receive that in that place. You'll begin to know things. You'll see things coming together. And it will be because you have spent time with me. I will give you the boldness. I will give you courage. You will stand strong and you won't falter because you will be filled with my presence. You will be filled with my joy and you will have stamina. You will have strength. You will go forth and you will do the things I call you to do. Oh, come to me. Yeah, there is a call to prayer. There is a call to prayer. There is a call individually and there's a call as a body. There is a call as a body to be the house of prayer. Let's press in. Let's press in a little more. Oh, ma cumberete yambando brutore che in delehi gristi son delehi bamba da co. I lahakan delehi grandi ata. New assignments. Ha! Ho ma donde? Thank you, Lord. Ho ho ma cumberete de di andala con belehi brindi che da titi che. Oh, this is, this is Masoron de Leje Grande Anda. This is for the body. This is for the body. Oh, Siri Saran de Leje Randa Andon de Go, pero todo lo grande de que. Y para la laja grosa y sanda laja grande anda. Y para el cochón de Leje Bramba Carandele de Grande de que. Oh, Basón de Leje Bamba Go, pero todo de que. Oh, ma comba lehi grandi andande gele ringrendendi ge. Oh, ma so 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 si ki saranda. Oh, ma so 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 su coloromba la habre peke. Bi parande lehi randa andande ge ra tola rongrondonde ge beranda. Alla tila ronda la ho rondondorco. Alla tira ronda la ho rondondonde go de te. Alla tila ronda lo ho grondondo le dete ke. I will bless the Lord. Lord, I bless you. 
I bless you with my soul. I bless you with my spirit, Lord. I bless you with my whole life. Mo ha ha ha. With my body, Lord, I give you praise and glory and honor. Mo koroti anda la habre se kero toleron. Ho ma kombarande. Ho viri sanda la rondo la rogro toleron. Pira toleron de. Pira toleron de la habro to toro kombe la hebra paperon donde gay. Mesa ronda, ha 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 ha. Oh, passo ronda, lo ho grondo, ondo le gimbe randa, le keringete. Mi parando, lo ho grosso, so ndele, ringrendente gai. Me carondo, lo ho bandele, ringrendente gai bedi. Passo ronda, lo ron grondo, ondo go bedi, ndale, ringrendente gai. Thank you, Lord. You transform an entire person. Oh, oh. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hebaranda. Ho basoro to korondolo rongrondon de gebara. Yeah. Hirondolo rongrondon de gondolo ring grenden de gendala ring grenden de gay. Ala ronda. Hebarandolo rongrondon de gong. Thank you, Lord. 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 Mat ho ho shon de lehe bram bam bam bere te kera to. Thank you, Lord, for your peace. Ha ke ronda. Ha ha ha. Oh, moro rondi andan dan de kera nde de kebe de nde. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let his precious holy peace settle down upon you. Let it settle upon your heart and give you that undisturbed composure that the Bible talks about. As, as we stay in our place with him and, and we dwell in a secret place with him, we keep our heart with him and our mind focused on him. And nagging thoughts really don't have a place to enter into that. We stay focused on him. They don't have a place to multiply in our mind because we're doing the Colossians 3 thing. Mm -hmm. We're looking up to him. We're staying focused on things that are above. He can transform a personality like that. He can take you from a worry wart and an overworker into that place with him where it smooths out all the rough places and you begin to hear him, and you begin to be more focused on him and understand when he talks to you. That way you step over all the things that used to trip you up. You can actually become more efficient like that. Put things in their place. Get the right perspective. That's how our God is, and he wants to give you that peace. And he wants to fill your heart with himself and with that joy that you won't back down. You won't back down when he asks you to step out. You won't back down on things that you know that are right. You'll just stand there in your peace and you'll watch him work. You'll have patience to watch him work. You won't be anxious and try to push it yourself. You'll have patience in God. 
Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for your peace. The last thing I wanted to do is to go to Psalm 84. I have several verses in Psalm 84 I want to bring to us because what I would like us to do now is pick up our loved ones. Pick up family members that we know need God. Pick up church family members that we know are in need. Pick them up and let's bring them before the throne of grace. Let's get help in time for them. In Psalm 84, this is the way I look at it. It says, How lovely are your tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul yearns, yet even pines and is homesick for the courts of the Lord. And my heart and my flesh cry out, and they sing for joy to the living God. Yes, the sparrow has found a house and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King, of, my King and my God. I love that because I think of the children. I think of my children that I brought before God. I just lay them on the altar. There you go, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> all the hard places in their hearts, all the hard places, he knows how to peel away layer by layer. I think of an artichoke. When, when, I, when I talk about this, I think of an artichoke. You know how the outer layers of an artichoke you can't do much with. But you've got to peel them away, layer by layer. Just peel away these outer places. Inside is the heart. That's the thing that you want. That's the thing that we eat. Inside, God can reach them. The longer we keep them on the altar and we just... We put them there, and then we go back, and we thank God that he has them. Thank him that he's working on their lives. Thank him that he knows what to do, and thank him that he knows how to reach them. He knows how to speak to them, that they will listen. We do that, and every time we do, he's peeling away those layers, peeling away those layers, till eventually there comes the place that they cannot help but hear him. He's reached the tender center of them, and they have to hear him. Whether they need to be saved, healed, whatever the cause, I put them on the altar. And I go back and I thank him for working in their lives. But then it goes on and it says, Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man whose strength is in you and in whose heart are the highways to Zion. That's us. That's us. We know how to go to him in prayer. We have the highway to heaven in us. We have the channel to reach God on their behalf. And for us, we have that channel. Thank you, Lord. That's impressed in us because we have taken the time to come to God in prayer. We have that channel. We know how to reach God on behalf of our loved ones, on behalf of the plan, on behalf of anything that we're praying for, we have the channel and we're blessed. Then it goes on to say, passing through the valley of weeping, they make it a place of spring. The early rain fills the pools with blessing. We go through hard places with people in prayer. But you know, we've got the channel and God knows how to fill us with his joy. And so everywhere we go, we can make it a blessing. Everywhere we go, we're bringing the presence of God with us. Everywhere we go, there are people being touched. And so there are blessings. In the hard times, there are still blessings. Because we know him intimately. And we know how to reach him. Then it goes on and says... They go from strength to strength, increasing in victorious power, and each of them appears before God in Zion. We don't go forward and then backward. We go from strength to strength because we know how to stay before him, and we've got that open channel. He continually strengthens us. So we go from strength to strength. We see victory and victory 
and victory in the things that we pray for. Yes. Mm -hmm. It happens that way. You may not see it immediately, but you're going to be strengthened each time. And there will be victory and victory and victory. We just don't go back on our faith in God. We keep pressing in. And the more we press in, the more we get to see. The more we press in, the more he can pour into us. And the more victory we will see. We get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Think of how your brothers and sisters in Christ depend on people who know how to pray. Think of how we can affect their lives because we continue to press in in prayer. Think of those that can be healed. Think of those that can be restored. Think of those that can be lifted up and they will finally get it because we kept pressing in, because we go from strength to strength, because he keeps filling us till we overflow. We have pools of blessing. Pools of blessing. Pools of blessing. Blessings are affecting the people around us. They're doing good all around us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O oh Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O oh God of Jacob. Behold our shield. The king is your agent. O oh God, and look up upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts, Lord, is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper and stand at the threshold in the house of my God than to dwell at ease in the tents of wickedness. I found myself saying that one day I did like 20 zillion jobs at a church that I came from. Praise the Lord. Love the church, love the pastor. I did anything. I cleaned the church. And I found myself standing there saying, <laughs> I found myself standing there saying, I would rather be a housekeeper and stand at the threshold, God, than dwell at ease in tents of wickedness. Praise God. You get anointed for those things. Yeah. Whatever it is that you're doing for the Lord, you become anointed for. I was an anointed cleaner. I could polish this thing better than anybody else. I was anointed to clean that place when I did that. For the Lord God is a sun and shield, and the Lord bestows present grace and favor and future glory, honor, splendor, and heavenly bliss. No good thing will he withhold from us who walk uprightly. O oh, Lord of hosts, blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man who trusts in you, leaning and believing on you, committing all and confidently looking to you, and that without fear or misgiving. You will never, ever, ever regret the things you've done for God. So there should be no fear. There should be no doubt when you go before him and when you accept his call to do the things he asks you to do. So praise God. Let's lift up our loved ones now and bring them before the throne. Let's put them on the altar and let God do a work in those that mean the most to us. Our families, our church family, whoever it is you know that needs help, let's bring them now. Father God, we come before you and we lay those on the altar. We lay our loved ones before you, Lord, and we thank you, Father God, for taking care of them. We thank you, Lord, that you know how to bless them, that you know how to reach them, Father God. If there are any hardened areas, Father God, you know how to peel back the layers, and you will reach them. You will reach them. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Thank you, Lord, for restoring. Thank you, Lord, for lifting them up, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that as we bring them before you, Lord, you can infuse them with your life. You can infuse them, Father God, with your vitality. Oh, sikiron don de korotol ron de geron don de gay. Thank you, Father God. Oh, thank you, Papa. Oh, bagoba de bedambe ambangon de lehe rembengetete. 
Beretere ke baranda la havro gosro. Mara tola kon bele hevran bangan de geleren grenden de ge. Thank you for lifting them up, Father God. Ho berinda. Ho berinda la hagron don de go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for supporting them. Mikranda, for reaching them. Oh, pa kosharon de geleran de gelerin grindin de giberinda. Iba garondola hobre gandale de kretati kerosonda. Abagisarondola hobra katata. Iba kombarondola rongrondon de goberende. Lord, you are the repairer of relationships. Thank you, Father God. You know how to repair relationships. Thank you, Father God. You know how to infuse life, Father God. O marondo, into those that are drying up. O ma cosa rondole in grandendige. O ba go barondole in grandondego. Nobody knows how to do it the way that you know how to do it, Lord. Sondago. Sometimes words fall dead from us, but Lord, when we bring them before you, ho, 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 makorondondige. Oh, marondé, ha, they will be reached. Moroshondele den grenden de gerati, mahagombala habambele hebra papa pakorondo. Ivara sondele rondole ron grenden de gerati, habagos rondole rokroto, ivarandele hebra begarondi. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, Makare pa hambaro sirando le rongrondon de ge. Makarande le hibringa randa le de crescete de. Ibaro su tolorondo lo hogronde le hibapade de ge. Ibaro randa le rengrenden de giberata. O bago su rondo le rongrondon de giberinda. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Ha shiran de lehi brasa ser ha koron don do go perata ta kerate. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be discouraged when a door seems like it's locked, like it cannot be opened. For in God, when it's his time, the door will be opened. If it's God, that door cannot stay closed. And once it's opened, it, nobody else could close it. When it's God, it will open. And it will stay opened for the thing he's called it to. He knows how to bring life to something that seems dead when it's him, when it's his calling. When this is him He'll bring life to what seems dead. He knows how to restore. He knows when the timing is right. He knows how to cause us to be patient when we're in his presence. Left to us, we'd go kick open the door and make a mess of things. But in his presence, we know timing. He puts his hand upon us. And he won't let us go out until the time is right. And if he, we stay put in his presence, he won't let us back up either. Hold us in place. And when the time is right, he launches us out. We begin to step forward, and we'll walk right into the thing he called us to because it's him. We'll be anointed for it, too. We'll be strong. And we'll learn in his presence to not back down, to not back up and don't back down. We can be afraid and still go forth and do what he's called us to do. That's called courage. You do it when you're afraid. That's courage. But don't be disappointed or discouraged. Stay in his presence, and you'll know. Doors will open. Things will be restored. Life will come. In his presence, you will know. And you'll have the power and the anointing and all that you need because he's woven all these things into us. And now we just come before him and we get ourselves ready in his presence. Hallelujah. We bring our people to him also. We bring our people to him. Put them on his altar and allow him to work. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I will say we can stay and pray, or if you have to go, prayerfully exit. Father God, I thank you for all the hearts here today, and Lord, I thank you that you've imparted everything that you wanted to impart to each person tonight, Father God, that you have spoken to hearts, that you have revived us, Lord, lifted us up, and given us your joy and your strength. Thank you, Lord, that you've tuned our ears a little more, little more accurately to you. Thank you, Father God, that you've had your way. Now, Lord, quicken us. Quicken us to the things that we need to. Know the things that we need to. Say, Lord, and to stay ever so close to you. Touch us. Keep drawing us in. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.